I'm taking out the MiG 1.44 again. This is my rebuild. This build is uh, made out of Depron as opposed to Dollar Tree. It's a couple ounces heavier. It's about 20 ounces instead of 17, so about three ounces heavier with the Depron. I did put a six millimeter KF2 airfoil on there for high alpha stability. I had three uh, millimeter on the other plane and it worked great, so I'm just testing the six millimeter. Um, I've got again the rudders. I've got the elevons and the thrust vectoring vanes synced. And then when I flip the switch, I've got the canards up there for high alpha stability. I've got the active mix still on here, but I don't like doing the active canards on there. It, uh, it's a little bit erratic. So I'm going to try it out. A couple other things I did was enlarge the stabilizer and rudders like uh, Boxer Mad on the forum did. I also put a cover on the bottom uh, electronics compartment. I normally leave that open so during high alpha you have a cheater hole here where the air can come in at high alpha to the prop. What I've done is uh, just left a little little cheater hole here. See how that's going to do for high alpha. And uh, that's about it. So we'll give it a good shot. A big decrease in top speed with the 6mm KF2 airfoils on it. A lot more drag. It's really an amazing plane though. It does everything well. Pretty good stability with the KF2. It's a little bit breezy, so I can't get a good read on what it'll be like without the breeze. It's actually getting hit from the side right now. So the wings are, I don't think the wings are stalling, it's just getting hit from the side. So I'm not sure about the 6mm KF2s. Uh, the 3mm KF2 seem to have a little bit more top speed. Um, I'll wait until the uh, uh, wind stops and try out the KF2s again just to see if there's a little bit more performance to be had. And uh, other than that, I think I need a larger cheater hole on the bottom with the propeller. So uh, it seems like it's starved for thrust a little bit. And um, the extra couple ounces of weight I think were worth it for durability. The other thing I did was I did butt joints on the bottom of the plane for more strength as opposed to the score and fold. These are butted up against the side of the fuselage and glued in place and then taped. So it's a little bit stronger and I figure it'll buy me a few more hits before I have to rebuild.